Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an updated what's in my makeup bag and this is a spring edition. So the products in here are more or less kind of like glowy, illuminating, luminous type products that are going to be really good I think for this springtime because obviously in spring we want to start getting ourselves back into more kind of luminous and glowy type products and um, I know I want to anyway because when it gets to summer I want to be wearing like a lot more kind of glowy type products on my skin. So I feel like the products in here are really good start to you know to work our way to really glowy products. For a while I've been using a lot of kind of like matte products which are lovely, you get such a flawless finish with you know matte finish products and things like that especially on my skin um, but I just want to start using a lot more glowy products to make myself a little bit more glowy and healthy looking for spring summer. So yeah I'm excited to share everything that's inside my makeup bag. So before we get started if you are new to my channel I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below click the bell next to that so that you get notified every time I upload a new video and if you like and enjoy this video give it a thumbs up. So this is my makeup bag here, the same one as before, it's from YSL um, and everything in here is kind of like the products that I'm wearing on the everyday basis you know. Uh, of course I have a bunch more makeup in my makeup drawers where obviously when I'm doing makeup tutorials and that on YouTube I'll be using you know products from there and things like that but these are the products I'm personally using like every day when I'm doing my makeup quickly and things like that so yeah okay so the first thing I'll make up bag here I've pulled out because this is stunning this is the YSL Rouge Pour Couture the bold lipstick in the shade 13 the packaging for this is gorgeous and that's the shade right there so it's this kind of deeper nudish shade and this is like a really juicy glossy lipstick however I thought it was going to be a little bit more pale nude or maybe more on the pink side because when I looked at like the promo pictures and that and like the pictures online it looked a little bit kind of more kind of nude like a lighter nude it's more or less pink on the models however it's more darker on me it's more like very sort of tinge of mauviness however I want to like use this more in the springtime because it's a really comfortable juicy lipstick um so I'm going to give it a little swatch here, that's the shade right there. So yeah, I want to use this more because it's so juicy and it has that kind of classic YSL scent to it. Um, however, the packaging for this I feel is a bit cheaper than their other packaging. Like, you know how the other ones that are more, like they're in the gold packaging, they just look really luxe. Like the ones are a bit heavier, whereas this one is a little bit more plasticky, it feels a bit more cheap. And for the price, this should feel more heavy duty in my opinion, you know. Um, like it looks stunning and everything, but the feel of it isn't like the best, you know. It's not like heavy duty. Um, but anyway, nice juicy lipstick and I'm looking forward to using that more in the springtime. Another new product in my makeup bag is this Swede Mascara. This is the Pro Lash Lift Mascara. And I've heard a lot of good things about this mascara and I really wanted to try it. And just lately it was in the Look Fantastic Beauty Egg. So I was so happy about that because obviously I wanted to try this. And um, if you can maybe see here, the brush on it is very different to other mascaras I have. It's only got bristles on one side of the wand. Like the other side is completely like flat. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like this really kind of... It's like a plastic bristle brush, um, which is quite unusual. It reminds me of like the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. They have quite similar ones. And I have this on my lashes today and I feel like it's giving me like a lot of lift to my lashes. But I have to play around with that a little bit more to see if I can get more kind of like fullness from it. So far so good with that. I have a couple of foundations that I want to get more use out of over this springtime. I think they're perfect for this springtime as well. Um, so I've got three in my makeup bag that I want to use more. So the first one is the KVD Good Apple Serum Foundation. So this is a really nice kind of makeup, skincare, hybrid type foundation. It's very lightweight. Um, looks really, really good on the skin. It's what I have on my face today. Um, this one is in the shade medium 54. I'm wearing that today, which is actually a really good kind of match for me when I'm not like that tan, you know. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Really nice and watery. Like, I wouldn't say it's completely like serum-like. I don't feel the serum texture really in it much on my skin uh, but it's really nice comfortable it's lightweight and yeah I want to get more use out of that another one I have in my makeup bag I think is going to be really good for the springtime because um, it's so lightweight it's just beautiful it's the Maybelline Superstay skin tint 
so like this is gorgeous um i recently done a review on this on my channel if you haven't checked it i'll link it below um it is so beautiful it's very flawless on the face you can get really really like high medium buildable full coverage with this like it is so beautiful and it has like such a nice kind of watery texture to it this one also has vitamin c in it which is good for making your skin look really glowy for spring summer and um, like such a beautiful flawless foundation loving that i have that in the shade 23 which is a little bit more in the kind of warmer side with the kvd ones more in the kind of neutral side and then another foundation here is also from the drugstore. It's just so beautiful and, and flawless as well. And just as lightweight as the Maybelline and the KVD one is the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear. This is a 32 hour one, so this one is more luminous. Um, great one to wear all year round, I think, actually. Um, but for summer, uh, spring, summer, this is going to be so lightweight because the texture of it is like beautiful you know the formula is really watery lasts a long time looks so flawless on the skin gives a nice natural glow to the skin as well and of course it's reasonably affordable this one i have in the shade 200 natural linen which is a little bit more on the neutral side and then i also have the charlotte tilbury hollywood contour wand in my bag as well because i just love this thing it's amazing and it's very expensive to wear like on the daily but i just love it it's the best contour Product and the best contour shade that I have for my cheeks. So yeah, I love it. It's so easy to use as well. It's like this sponge applicator. You just rub here, and it's so so blendable, like with a sponge or with a brush. Um, today I used a sponge, blended gorgeous. Um, so yeah, love this so so much. And I also have in my bag the new Pillow Talk Matte Blush Wand. This one is in the shade Peach Pop. And this is gorgeous. Also have this on my cheeks today. Could probably add a bit more actually because um, I went over with a little bit of powder bronzer um, on my cheeks to warm my cheeks up a little bit more after applying this. Um, probably covered it a little bit. Um, but anyway, this is stunning. I love it. The shade is like a peachy coral colour. It's just so flattering and lovely and yeah, it is a matte finish blush, but I love that actually on my cheeks. You know, it gives like such a flawless finish. And even though I want to use more kind of glowy products right now, this is matte. However, it's still kind of like so hydrating in that on the skin because it is a liquid blush, you know. It blends beautifully. It feels nice and hydrating on the, the face. It doesn't feel dry or anything. So yeah, this is just really beautiful. So I'm loving them too. And then I have this concealer in my makeup bag that I want to try and get more use out of. I don't get like a ton of use out of this one um, because I have another one which I'm actually wearing on my face today that I just cannot like stop using. It's amazing. But this one anyway is the Bobbi Brown Skin Full Colour Concealer. And this one has like kind of like skincare um, ingredients and benefits in it, which is obviously going to be really amazing for spring and summertime has this really nice unique doe foot on it which has like this kind of like divot or kind of like hole in it which is, makes it really easy kind of to apply it is very very lightweight on under eye i would say it's kind of like a light medium coverage concealer um yeah the shade i have is cool sand which is a little bit more on the cool side i think that's why i don't get a ton of use out of it because it's still really nice and matches me quite well however um i do love this other one here which is kind of like the perfect match for me all the time it's the nars radiant creamy concealer like i love this so much it's so creamy has a lovely kind of radiance on the under eye good coverage i would say it's like medium coverage um like i just love it, it looks really healthy for your under eyes very lightweight just really beautiful um, to use like on the daily. You know, it's very really hydrating for the eyes. This one's a little bit more warmer in tone. This one's a little bit cooler. However, I am going to use this more because of all the skincare benefits in that. Now I wanted to try out a different powder for my face because um, I've been using the NARS Light Reflecting for a long time and I absolutely love that. Like it's so amazing. Like if you've ever tried that, you would know how amazing it is. Like the formula of that is incredible. It's like silk. Um yeah nothing nothing matches it or beats it but i have this one here from by terry this is the hyaluronic press hydra powder so i want to try and use this one to see if i like this better but so far i have this on my 
under eyes today and it's really really nice like you know it's nice and kind of like hydrating on the under eyes it doesn't look like cakey or you know heavy or anything in my under eyes and um, but I don't know if it's going to beat the light reflecting from NARS because that's just amazing like have you ever tried that if you ever put your finger in that powder you will know it's absolutely amazing like silk I like to use like press powders more like for like every day because they're just a lot easier to you know to use you can just grab like your powder puff tap it in there and then apply it to like your under eyes and you're kind of done but for when I'm doing a more glam full coverage makeup look I'll use a loose powder uh, because obviously you're doing the full shebang so you're setting aside more time you know to do it to do your makeup yeah I will lose, use a loose powder for that because it's just usually a little bit extra flawless uh, but on the daily a pressed powder is really great with a powder puff for quickness Yes, so I want to kind of use this more, see how I like it. I don't get a ton of use out of this. Um, I do have that also in a loose, in the loose version, the loose powder version. I have the pressed one, I think, is the way to go right now for like an everyday basis. And then the bronze I'm planning using, and I have been using for a long time, I just cannot stop using it. I mean, I've tried to use other bronzers, like I have tried, like I really have, but nothing beats this. <laughs> you know, it's just amazing for everyday. It's the Dior backstage powder no powder and 4n like it's just amazing it's so flawless has a beautiful kind of like natural radiance to it like i don't know it's like matte but radiant and flawless it's just magic i love it so much i cannot stop using it like so expensive to use but who am i kidding really because i do buy and have loads of high-end bronzers anyway that's i don't buy really high-end bronzers so it would be stupid not to use this you know like it's amazing if you haven't tried that already you really need to it's amazing honestly now i also have the iconic london illuminating drops so this here is like a highlighter and yeah you can apply this obviously to your cheekbones you can also mix it in with foundations and things like that to make it a little bit more glowy um yeah i want to try using using this more because i don't get a ton of use out of this and it is gorgeous like the color is just perfect and um, for my skin color and that um so yeah i want to try and use this more i did try to use it today but i applied it um after i applied my powder bronzer and it created like a little kind of watermark in that and i had to go back over you know to try and fix it i still have to figure out if i can use this with a powder but i don't think i can so i'll have to probably use it with like a cream liquid bronzer maybe like the Clinique chubby stick one I could probably use that because um, I really like that for bronzing my cheeks so yeah I want to use this more I'm going to kind of nail it yeah I'm going to figure out how to apply this properly and then speaking of highlight I also have this one from Bobbi Brown in my bag because this is stunning this is the pink glow highlighter from her it's just like this brick marble effect powder which is really beautiful. I have this on my cheeks today. Hopefully you can see that little glow that I have going on. It's not completely shimmer free. There is little shimmery pigments in this. Um, but it's maybe not the best one to wear if you want to like take photographs or on film really because it does kind of show up texture a little bit just because of the glittery pigments. However, in person it looks stunning. Like it really does look like this nice wet smooth highlight. Um, but yeah. I want to use this more because it is lovely. The formula looks really nice. It's like this cushion, like, velvety type of formula. My brow stuff hasn't changed. I'm still using the Benefit Precise in my brow pencil. But this one um, is almost out. I've only got that wee tiny bit left. That's me twisted right to the end. And, yeah. Once that's finished, I'm going to just use this one from Refi. This is the brow pencil in medium. It's got a very similar shade to it as the Benefit one. So, yeah, and it's got a really nice formula in that as well. So, I'm going to use that after this one's finished. I do have a backup of this one already though, but I want to give myself a little break and use this just so I can save this one for a little bit longer. For brow gel, um, I'm using this one from Anastasia instead of the Benefit one. This is the clear brow gel from her and I really like the like the brush on this. It's like this really nice big fluffy bushy bristle brush so you can see there. Um, combs the brows really nicely, sets them in place. It's, it's really nice brow gel. Then I also have this mascara in here from Morphe. This is the Make It Big mascara. Um, so I, I opened this um, the other week there to try it. I only tried it on my bottom lashes at the time though. So I want to use this more. 
um, see how it goes because I haven't tried this mascara before. I also have it in a full size but I thought I'd try the mini first. These are the two mascaras that I want to use over the next few weeks. I'm excited about it. I've been using the Bobbi Brown Smokey Eye one for a while and that's finished now. So I need a new one and these are the two that I want to give a shot. I also have this little fairy wand from She Glam that's just absolutely amazing. This thing is beautiful for highlighting like the inner corners of your eyes, your nose, whatever else you want to highlight. It's so nice. I love the shade of this so much. Um, I have this in my inner corners today. Mm, it's amazing. Just rub it into my inner corners there and it's more or less blended out for you but you can use your finger if you want to and make sure it's completely blended. Um, I use it on my nose and that as well. It's just so, so, so lovely. Um, yeah, so that I have to have in my makeup bag also. And then now I have, oh no, I have this eyeliner here. Like I always like to use a nude liner in my waterline, like all the time. No matter if I'm doing eyeshadow or not, I, I like to run a nude liner in my waterline because it kind of like makes your eyes look a little bit more brighter because it corrects the redness in the waterline. So I always like to run that um, in my waterline. This is the Anastasia Pro Pencil in Base 1. Really nice creamy nude for there love that so i'm using that all the time and then now i have a bunch of lip products to share with you um so the first thing that i have been using is this lip plumper from grandy lips i don't know if this completely works really but i have been using it over the past couple of weeks actually every time you know before i apply my lipstick i don't know if it's plumping my lips or not <laughs> maybe it's making it smaller actually i actually don't know but it gives them kind of like a kind of fiery tingle to the lips I really don't know if it's plumping them or not but I'm going to just continue to use it and um, see how it goes it's just a clear one so yeah I've got two lipsticks um also a makeup bag so I have that YSL so I have the YSL one obviously but these two also from MAC I have um so this is the shade Yash which is quite new to me I got this one just lately um it's like this kind of brownie nude shade and then I also have Honey Love which I've been using for a little while now which is more of a pinky nude there so yeah really nice they, they are like matte finishes but I do like to go on top with the gloss and um, because matte seems to stay a little bit longer on my lips and um, so that's why I like to use these and then I'll top off with a gloss and the glosses that I am using right now um, I'm still using this one from Morphe, it's amazing, it's the Make It Big gloss, um, it's a it's like a lip plumping gloss so it makes your lips look a lot fuller, like this actually makes your lips look fuller, um, yeah, it's a really nice big thick doe foot on it too, and it's in this kind of pinky shade there, it's just like a kind of sheer pink there when you apply it to your lips but it really does plump them. Um, makes them nice and juicy looking so I absolutely love this and um, I'm I think I'm like almost halfway through this like it's been lying on its side so it's kind of like filled up now but when I've got this sit like sitting you know on the table it's honestly about down to about there like I have used this a lot I love it um and then the other one that I'm using I went back to actually because I just love it so much it's amazing nothing like there's no formula like this and um, it's amazing it's very hydrating on the lips and it just feels like it's nourishing your lips it's the by terry gloss look but it's not really a gloss this is like a, a lip balm so there's a lot of like skin care or lip care benefits in this it's amazing for gloss though like it's just clear and um, this is a brand new one that i have because I went through loads of these, they're all finished and this is the last one that I have left so I'll have to get more of these and uh, more of this because it's amazing. The, the, the formula of this is like butter, it's like butter, um, it's creamy, oh, it's amazing, it really is gorgeous. The only thing I don't like about this is it's rose scented, it's very strong uh, but I'm over that because I've used this for a long time so yeah, it's amazing, the formula is just uh, incredible love it so much yeah so i went back to that because i gave myself quite a bit of a break from it because i've been using the morphe one for a while um the anastasia one and things but i put by terry back in my makeup back again because it's just amazing and i feel like i need a little bit more extra 
nourishment in my lips now. And then I also have this new lipstick here from She Glam. This is one of their new matte formula lipsticks. Um, it's in the shade Encore Energy. And it's kind of like this deep... Not deep, but it's medium um, brown colour there. Which I really like to apply to my lips and then apply a gloss on top. Because it has a really nice stain power, this lipstick. You know, it's matte, but like a comfortable matte that stays in place for a long time. So yeah, I like to apply a gloss on top of this. It makes it really nice and juicy looking then because I always apply the gloss on top and I like the colour of this with the gloss on top because it lightens it slightly. These from She Glam are actually really nice. I only have two shades, but this one is my favourite. Uh, but there's a bunch in the range, so check them out if you haven't because they are actually really nice matte lipsticks, you know. They stay in place, but they're very comfortable. Um, and then I have my lip liner that I use for like every single lipstick that I'm wearing. It's the MAC Oak, as you can see. It's going down. I need to get a new one soon. Uh, but yeah, Oak is just a really nice kind of neutral, nudish shade for me, um, for my lips. I really like this. I can kind of over my, overline my lips a lot with this. Um, and it still looks really good. So yeah, really, really like Oak from MAC. I'm using it for a long time. It just has to be in there because... It's my favourite lip liner. So that is everything that's inside my makeup bag. But I have one more thing that I'm using. It's not my makeup bag, but it sits obviously handy for me when I do my makeup. Is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. So this is a really nice kind of glowy setting spray. You know, like it's a continuous mist. So when you press down on it, you know, it just continues to spray out until you take your finger off it really. Um, it has a nice luminous finish. It's beautiful. It's a really nice. I like the scent of it as well because... Some setting sprays can have funky scents to it, but this one has a really nice scent to it. Um, yeah, so this is great. Really nice to make yourself look nice and glowy, fresh, healthy, radiant looking. So yeah, that's everything that's inside my makeup bag for spring. Um, I'm really looking forward to using these products um, over the next few weeks and months. I've got a couple of newbies, a couple of older products, and a couple of my favourite products right now in my makeup bag to use over the springtime so that is it for this video guys i really hope you liked and enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and i'll speak to you very soon in my next video bye